Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Paper Heart Project's first annual Patreon Supporters Puppet Fashion Show. Please take your seats. The show will begin in just a moment. I'm so excited. <laughs> Our first model is wearing a classic all wool ensemble, uh, dry clean only. Who needs bright colors when you're so soft, so fluffy, so fabulous? Who says horizontal stripes aren't flattering? This outfit is really taking off. Our next model was discovered at Fashion Week in Naples, Florida. Some looks never go out of style. Look at that jacket, is that silk? No, it's paper. Everything's made out of paper. This one's a bear. It's just a bear. It's not easy being green. Hey Puppet fans, it's been a while. Good to see you. Are you ready to make your very own tiny tabletop puppet? Let's get started. Here's what you're gonna need. First, some colorful paper. Construction paper is great, but I like cardstock. For this project, the thicker the better. Then, of course, some scissors. And this time we're gonna need glue and tape. And you're gonna need a stick. Uh, I love these bamboo skewers that you can get at the grocery store but a straw or a popsicle stick or an old pencil, anything long and uh, kind of stick-ish will do. Take your paper and cut out all the parts that you're gonna need for the puppet. For this example, we're gonna make a little pink monster, but no matter what you choose to make, you should probably have at least this many body parts, and then you can add anything else that you want. I've got two pieces for the body. I made them nice and furry fluffy. I've got two arms, two legs, and then for the face, I've got a couple eyes, some pupils, and a little shape here for my mouth. Now we put it all together. Start with one of your body pieces and glue on the arms and legs. Flip it over and now we get to make the face. The character changes a lot depending on where you put your facial features. You can play around with it. Once you've decided where everything goes, you can glue down the face and flip it over. Use a piece of tape to attach the stick right there in the middle, rising up from the head. Then take your second body piece and glue it over, hiding the stick and where you attached all the arms and legs. One last step, just bend the feet at a right angle so that they can sit on the ground and your tabletop puppet is ready to walk around. Well, 
thanks again for joining us for another Paper Heart Project. I hope you have fun building this puppet. And a very special thanks to our Patreon supporters. Uh, you saw some of our special request and portrait puppets of Patreon supporters uh, in the fashion show at the beginning of this installment. We had a limited supply of those, but we're opening that back up. For $10 a month, you can get your favorite animal, person, or even yourself as a puppet in an upcoming Paper Heart Projects episode. Very exciting. Uh, and of course, also our Patreon supporters are going to get a special printable pattern that they can use to make this little monster that we had in our story today. Um, if you would like to receive those things, you can become a Patreon supporter. You can join for as little as $1 a month at patreon.com slash paperheartprojects. We'll be back with another fun puppet project. I'll see you all then. Goodbye, everybody.